All right, so as you know that uh, Adobe Arrow right now is currently beta software. It's not a uh, final uh, finished product, um, but we can, you know, expect it that it will be, uh, you know, in a few months, we can have this um, finally uh, join the Adobe Creative Cloud family. So uh, first, let's try to just, you know, um, because it's really new, there's no tutorials, no, nothing um, available. So um, here is, you know, a, a quick walkthrough. Um, and, you know, my experience is really based on the uh, my dimension and other software experiences. The, I believe they're very close. You know, they're actually quite close. So let's go start uh, to create a new document. Um, and we can create this one and uh, call it a new project AR. So in this window, um, you know, you will see there um, several areas here. So uh, first, you can add some uh, input, some elements here, um, and uh, it's really up. Okay, so it's really um, different um, object. Okay, you can add a different object, but actually, we can find here from the content menu. Uh, so directly using the presets here some presets you can drop uh, abstract shapes okay so let's say i'm just using a very basic one uh, how about this mobius uh, mobius okay um and as the you know it's really similar uh you can view in this way uh, by holding one uh, two and three uh, to just view this uh, object and then you can also switch to V, and then that will give you uh, some options. Okay, so that would be blue, will be the standard, will be the Z axis. Okay, so you can change this one from Z axis. Uh, by the way, the Z axis will be on the front, so uh, this is kind of like what we uh, usually feel this uh, object. Okay, so it's change it to V, you know, it's a really standard. Um, even the standard Photoshop operation. So V for move for selection. Okay, uh, we can drag this one um, X and uh, Y for the for the object. Okay, um, and so now this is just a very simple uh, object. Um, so how can you know see it in the space? Um, we can preview. Of course, we can preview. Um, in the preview window, we still have one, two, three to control uh, for the desktop version. Okay, I went to three. Uh, to, when you hold those those key, uh, and you can uh, feel this object. But let's do a little bit of different. Let's let's try to animate uh, this one. So let's go back to the uh, edit window mode, edit mode, um, and we're going to add a, this little bit different called a behavior builder. Okay. So we open that. The, this one show a trigger, and uh, so that's the uh, way we can bring these uh, some interactivity. interactivity. Uh, so add a trigger here, and we we'll put. A start. Start is really like the thing. Uh, it's like a movie. Um, so we can start this one, and um, so we uh, we define the start action. So is play animation, or we can do a simple spin. Okay. So we'll do a spin. Um, let's let's try that. And the, this object that is kind of a spin there. All right. So let's try to play this one one more time. Um, now we can do is we can you know uh, kind of like expanding this duration. Now think about we are, want this one to be very peaceful and um, you know rotate. Um, well, let's do a longer time. We can just try to do uh, ten seconds. So think about the thing. This one we're gonna, gonna be here for spinning for a longer time for ten seconds. You can increase this one to so many times. So let's do 10 times or infinity. Okay. Um, and then we can do a little bit shorter time now. So it's a, uh, this object is going to spin a little bit faster. So let's do linear. And uh, okay, 
So when they play, they just do one. But when when we start to, um, you know, to make this thing uh, work, and uh, you we're going to see that. So preview. So see this object is animated and it, and it keep spinning. Okay. All right, we can add a more span um, together, and this time we'll do y-axis and then uh, do the same thing. Let's make it a little bit complicated. Okay. So when this span is going to spin, you know, kind of like, you know, uh, as you can see, you can put more um, uh, attributes into it. Okay, so we created this simple object. Now we do the animation, so we can drop some uh, pre-designed animated object. Um, so you can input your own object as well. So let's just do uh, this one. And uh, we, you know, don't forget to add a trigger. So if you are not at triggers, this one is not going to move. Uh, so for example, if you preview this one, this one could just stay there uh, because we are not giving this one any triggers. Okay, so let's go back to edit and uh, we add a trigger for this. Um, okay, and uh, uh, we can add a tap. Okay, so tap, it means you you have to touch touch of this object. Um, and um, well, you can add, a, you know, multiple, multiple uh, triggers as well. So we can make this one um, in the default setting uh, start. Okay, uh, so we can make this one kind of like a play animation or we just make this one spin, okay? At the beginning, just kind of a spin. Um, yeah, it's kind of like that, but it's too fast. We also wanted this one to, to be infinity and very long. And just kind of a move. And you think about it, you're in the uh, in a, a machine uh, our robot uh, museum. Okay, so this this is the um, display, uh, one of the uh, display. Um, and if you are not, um, you know, tap of this object, is it just gonna to spin infinity? Um, just kind of a very slow uh, spin. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. So and then we're gonna to add a tab. So play animation. So if you're gonna tap this object okay uh, so then play animation okay let's see uh, this is the example of the animation okay so let's try to preview it so you may see this um this is a current thing here uh, we have those two objects and we're not tap this one yet but you can try to tap it and then this object will become an uh, animated object all right so let's go back to the scene. We're going to uh, move several uh, objects. Um, so this one here, I can like organize uh, this space a little bit. I okay, we just try to, you know, uh, create a several different objects. Basically, um, this is all, um, you know, uh, I, I like this function. This one have so many um, object, okay. So many pre um, setting objects available uh, for you to use. All right. Um, okay. So now we have this uh, new object here. You will feel uh, you will view from this angle. Um, this is the music lover, and we may need to expanding those space. Um, so here we have the layer spacing. So you can you can you know uh, expanding this layer spacing uh, to make this one multi layer. And you can also do a control for the scale. Or uh, let's make this one a little bit small. So we have this uh, scale all linked. Uh, so we make this one expanding uh, more. Uh, so when you walk, you think about it that way. When you walk from the Z axis, you know. Um, and you will see, can confirm it. Okay. So just to see back. Um, now let's go back to see this. Okay. This object. All right. 
Um, so that, now let's uh, try to give this one uh, a start movement, or maybe just you know rotation. Uh, so give this one a start and uh, give this one an action of uh, spin. And uh, let's see how this one spins. This is definitely not the axis we want. Uh, we may need to spin around the axis. Okay. We, we don't also um, we, we don't need this easy in and out. We just need a linear, uh, you know, easy in. So so then we can make this one uh, infinity spin. Okay. So just do the infinity spin. Just kind of stay there. Um, again, so those things would, you know you would see the preview uh, mode to see the infinity. You know, it's kind of like a crazy, but it, think about that. It's an animated scene, and um, it, you can do quite a lot of a uh, um, you know you know think about it. You are wearing the uh, headset. You can uh, walk through like this, walk through, and then really experience this one in a giant size. It's quite a different experience. Think about it, you are inside of this colorful uh, shapes and the geometry patterns, and uh, um, that's a new, uh, I think it's a quite an inspirational uh, experience uh, for any type of uh, creative person. Okay. Um, I think that's quite of a uh, um, essential um, operation. I don't want to make this one um, you know, too long because they're all kind of like the same. So to just kind of open uh, those parts, just show you know show some essential control. Um, and um, let's see, you know, you can put some symbols here, uh, nature plants, it's a little bit of tree here. Uh, it's a perfect time to um, you know to build some elements for the Christmas. Okay, um, just give at least one little. Uh, you know, start animation to spin. Spin on one axis is perfect. Linear. I think it got an idea. You know, it's a really just a very uh, simple way of doing this. And um, uh, all this object you can, you know, give materials, uh, give a color control uh, in dimension, and then export. Um, the object into your Adobe Arrow uh, to make your um, animation scene. So let's see this whole new word, okay? Um, and don't forget that they're just simple row one, two, three. You can never get to this word. One is obviously the, the thing, so you can see uh, see these things from any angles you like. And two, you kind of like just pan the view. And a three, zoom in and zoom out. Okay. Um, in the real handset, you will have a more uh, way uh, to experience it because you kind of like more immersive um, experience. But in the digital version, we do we already find some um, possibilities of uh, um, design things in um, the AR. Okay. Um, Again, this is the very beginning of the uh, the whole new words of uh, Arrow, um, and I hope that will give you uh, some basic information of how this application work. You know, especially for the desktop beta version. Um, enjoy those, you know, high quality software built by uh, the, uh, the you know the leading uh, software company Adobe. Um, I think um, you know when combine. Uh, Illustrator, uh, Photoshop, InDesign, those kind of traditional um, great uh, uh, design software. And with the new generation of the uh, software, XD, uh, Dimension, and Adobe Arrow, that is really a, a new definition of a digital designer.